On Lombard Avenue in East Longmeadow, speeding vehicles are a common sight to see. The speed limit is 30 miles per hour, but that doesn't stop cars from racing by the residential area, even with Albert Trangese Playground located on the street. The speeding led to a terrible incident late this November. A five-year-old dog was killed between Roderick and Lombard Avenue, the victim of a hit-and-run accident. The Chihuahua Beagle mix named Kaya escaped from her yard for only a few minutes. In that short amount of time, the family pet was struck and left lying on the side of the road. The driver didn't stop. With the incident occurring in such a close proximity to the street's playground, it raises questions of just how safe children are to play within the area. Here with more on this heart-wrenching scenario is Kaya's owner, Robin Black. I saw um, one of the TV stations where was doing a thing where they give you half off on an animal to come adopt. So I went and I looked and I saw her and decided that I wanted to get her for my grandson. And I knew that he'd be thrilled. And at the age that the dog was and that he was at the time, the two would grow up together. She wasn't used to a leash and she unfortunately got out, but we were like right behind her as quick as possible. I mean, I just grabbed a flashlight and I was out the door. But it was dark mm-hmm. and it was very rainy. Um, but she was also wearing a um, pink reflective uh, harness with a pink sweater underneath it and a pink scarf. She had this advice for pet owners in the area. Don't let them near the main roads. You know, um, Lombard is not a main road, but it's right off the main road. And people turn that corner and just hightail it down the street. I checked on both ends of the street and there's signs that say 30 miles an hour. And on each end of the street, there's a sign posted for the playground. And it's a residential street, but I would think for a playground, it would be even slower. Something needs to happen. I don't know what, but something needs to, to happen. And being a playground, I don't want to ever see a child or hear about a child getting hit on the street. Robin closed our interview by stating, I do not want to see any children get hit and left to die like my grandson's dog was. East Longmeadow Police Department officials have been monitoring speeding cars and have put up digital signs across neighborhoods in town.